guys it's Yansley welcome back so today I am going to be painting a denim pair of jeans I don't know why I said a denim pair of jeans are there any jeans that aren't denim I don't think so <laughs> so anyway I'm going to be painting a pair of jeans and I thought you know why not share in this creative process and turn this into a vid so here we are all right so I got my paints bag i put it in a pink bag but i got my it's actually a pink lunch box i got my paints and i'm just gonna randomly pick colors out the bag and we'll see um which colors we start with i personally um like to start out with three colors and then allow the art to speak for itself and allow whatever happens to happen so here we are let's go okay so we have this baby blue it's called sky mist number 2596 all right now let's switch it up right. okay purple this color is called eggplant <laughs> 2253 all right and i use um folk art paint by the way i just started painting and it looked like a good brand. <laughs> All right. I like it to be really random. Okay. And yellow. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Um, this is called Pods Yellow 2392. So here are our three colors that we're going to start with. Um, the jeans I showed. Oh, well, I'll, I'll put that afterwards. I recorded that part first. But anyway, <laughs> um, I'll put that on, show you the jeans that we're going to be working with today. And then let's go ahead and get started painting. I would highly encourage you to also just live your, live your best life, okay? Because, and paint more, do more things that you enjoy. Because we only get one trip in this vessel as this version of ourselves and whether whatever you believe in maybe you'll we'll come back as the same people i don't i don't know but what i'm saying is right now you have this moment and that's all you have so what are you going to do in this moment what are you going to do in the now because tomorrow is not promised tomorrow might never come so let's start today side note this cup actually i'm on this like not even looking at the screen. Hold on, where am I at? Right there. This cup, I actually used to work at um, Purdue Farms. And so they gave us this cup. I was a manager in training in that program. And they gave us this memorabilia cup because we went to Jim Purdue's house, actually. And there he is right there. And we're like, that's the first time actually where I had... Um, raw oysters because I was like I'm going to have this memory forever that the first time I had raw oysters was at Jim Perdue's house and I tried them every kind of way I tried them just plain it tastes like snot just plain I tried it plain with lemon I did not like that at all it tastes like salty snot it was disgusting but with the cocktail sauce oh i was throwing that stuff back and then i tried it with hot sauce too and so that was a cool memory and so i used this cup because i wasn't i'm not gonna drink out of it <laughs> but um i decided to put my paints in here because it's just been sitting around and i almost threw it away then i was like let's do something with it so here we are this is my cup and it makes a lot of a lot of noise obviously all right, let's get into it. <laughs> okay. Oh, and um, I'm using, because I'm all about recycling, right? So I'm using old denim from a jacket that I, the first jacket that I made or recreated. So I'm using old pieces from the jacket to clean my brushes. So, and a, a old Chobani um, yogurt thing too keep my water in I got my ginger ale of course I love ginger ale and my ice water I got my musical tune so let's get into it Pew! all right so boom here you can see me laying it out I got the blue color but then I realized 
I don't want to start with blue, so I'll go on ahead, pull out the purple. I love purple. And as you guys saw, I totally um, randomly selected these colors and randomly selected the brushes. So we're really just going off of instinct here, okay? Really just keeping it natural and flowing, all right? So um, I also don't have a plan of action here, guys. So I'm really just going with it and allowing the music to vibe with me. Uh, I was actually listening to Carlos Santana um, while recording. So, yeah. <laughs> and I'm actually outside right now. It's like 12.50 um, a.m. But I got inspired. Oh, I had to move the camera. Oh, and then I was like, <clears throat> nope, <laughs> let's move it back. It was fine where it was. I was trying to figure out how to make sure I kept the picture in frame i mean excuse me the pants in frame because you know that would be kind of boring if you couldn't see what i was doing <laughs> so here i'm just like making a kind of a feathery kind of pattern um you'll notice that the brush i'm using is a mermaid brush i got it from um where'd i go oh big lots yeah i got it from big lots <laughs> and we're just gonna keep painting and you see now i'm on over on the other side on the other side on the other side all right so yeah guys it, it's been such an i've had such an interesting couple of days so i'm just gonna like talk and um explain it as well you know we're hanging out as i paint this jacket i mean these pants and um whenever i do something different i guess i'll discuss it <laughs> i didn't really plan this out either i just kind of did it um but anyway yeah i've i've been having such an interesting couple of days and i've made some real boss moves so on monday i'm preparing to interview the um the um, creator and executive producer of Godfather and of Harlem. On um, Wednesday, I'm interviewing. A, oh, you see, I got to get that line, so I had to change the way that I position the bur um, the brush. I was about to say the broom. <laughs> anyway, on um, Wednesday, I'm interviewing an executive producer um, who happens to work at Netflix. On Thursday, I am interviewing a um, life coach who also happens to be um, my soror and actually um, one of my big sisters because she's actually Alpha Ada as well but she is a life coach um, author and um, she she's just awesome and she has a radio show and all that stuff too so I'm really excited um, yeah some some big things have been happening on the other flip side the cryptocurrency look i see i don't put the i was trying to get it so y'all could see and i even put it on an angle thinking i was showing the camera properly but it's okay we're learning <laughs> but anyway um dang i forgot what i was gonna say i was i know i was talking about my interviews oh oh just you know a lot of things have been happening and i've been making some real big moves and just really focusing on myself like I'm just cutting off all negativity regardless of um where it originates from you feel me and I, I feel so amazing I feel so courageous and I just been like going just going 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 and yeah I'm excited <laughs> all right so you see now we have like three areas of purple and like I said, there's no rhyme or reason here. I just do it. Ooh, we're switching it up, changing the colors. Look at that water. It looks like that drink people drink. I don't drink that drink, though, but, you know, some people do. I'm for real. Don't even be in the comments talking about some yeah, right, yeah, it's like, no, like, for real. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm actually using recycled materials. I think I said that in the intro. But I'm actually using recycled materials. Um, that's from a jacket that I created earlier because I actually um, didn't have 
and you see I just selected a new brush um, so we'll see what this turns out to be but I didn't have anything to um, dry my brushes off with all the colors and um, like we ran out of paper towels because we use a lot of paper towels so um, and I just keep forgetting to get some and I think everyone just keeps forgetting but it is what it is so I was like man what else can I use so I was using cotton balls and the first day I was using I was using paper towels but today we didn't have any so I, I used some cotton balls um, but then I was like nah let me just use my recycled materials like my jeans and actually it lasted for a long time so if you're a painter and you're looking for something to dry your brushes off with um, use some jeans and then I let them dry out in the sun so I had the jeans drying out and it was really good because acrylic dries fast that's the kind of paint I'm using by the way and then the sun helped the brushes dry so I had like the brushes in rotation so I didn't have to wait I could just keep painting and then I also uh, was sitting in like a chair and uh, while I and had like the music going and vibes were flowing and all that stuff so while I was um, waiting for it to dry I had the vibe still going and then I, I discovered this uh, well it's not a new song by Carlos Carlos Santana but it's new to me I discovered this song called uh <laughs> oh shoot oh no no i think it's called like a uh, black magic or magic woman black magic woman some something like that it was a great 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 song though a major shout out to carlos santana once again this pair of jeans was inspired by his music Mm hmm sure enough was alrighty so now we're going in with some yellow we're just gonna put some dots just gonna poop, 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 poop. put some dots there move it on up and then we put more dots <laughs> more more dots The jeans took um, a little bit longer than I thought they were going to take, truthfully. But they came out so, so amazing and wonderfully. I just kind of was like, like, whatever. You feel me? And it was so much fun, too. That's why, like, I've, I've decided to um, expand and turn this really into a business because it's so much fun and there's like one of a kind designs it's just it's just such a vibe so if you want one hit me up <laughs> i'm also a certified life coach so you're gonna hit me up for multiple things look at how that brush looks <laughs> and believe it or not i just got this stuff recently Okay, I decided to change brush colors. Okay, now the water looks like what is it? it doesn't look very good anymore. I don't know about you, but it kind of looks like stale mimosa with not enough, with like nasty orange juice from a club. That's what it looks like to me a stale mimosa. Okay, now we're going in there with the sky blue. You know what? I love sky blue. Oh, and by the way, I made that fanny pack too a few years ago. Okay, I changed my mind about something, but I missed it talking about the fanny pack. <laughs> Oh, no, I didn't. We're going in with the sky blue. 
but look you, you can't even see it that's okay i i gotta learn you feel me one step at a time it's just so relaxing like this is kind of satisfying i feel like i'm having a really great time <laughs> i know that that sounds crazy but um eventually i'll reveal what happened today and why today was such a momentous occasion for me but um yeah i am just like wow in my mind you know fully committed to just continuing on this journey of self-discovery because i didn't even know i could like really do this like i've always wanted to do gene paintings and stuff and then a few days ago i heard it like clear as day in my mind said paint from michael's and so i was like paint from michael's like what and it was kind of late too so like i'm not going to the store to get paint from michael's right now and it was clearly from like the universal source because i'm um, aware enough to know what the universe or what god whatever we want to call it um the system the angels ancestors whatever you pra spiritual practice or whatever if you don't believe in anything whatever tells you to do stuff <laughs> your instincts whatever it is but i know what that sounds like and it was so clear but i was like listen <laughs> Because I've also learned I can compromise. I don't have to do everything at that point in time. It's just like, hey, here's things that we should do. But I, I didn't say no. I was just like, you know what? We'll get it tomorrow because I don't feel like driving to Michael's right now, truthfully. And then I get like a knock on my door and it's like, hey, um, do you want to go to Michael's? And I'm like, oh, no, 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 not Michael's. I'm talking about I got this stuff from Big Lots. I'm lying. My bad. I got this stuff from Hobby Lobby because my mom was like, oh, my gosh, Yana, we're going to Hobby Lobby. Do you want to come with? And I was like, at first I was like, not really. But then I was like, well, does Hobby Lobby have paint? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, my gosh, what? So here we are. <clears throat> I went to Hobby Lobby with them picked up some paint and some canvases I painted two pictures and while I was at the the place actually I googled which type of paint you use to do on denim because I was like I'm gonna get these canvases to practice to see um how many I need to do before I can expand and go to jeans and you know I wanted to try different things and I did I wanted to make sure I got the right paint I knew acrylic could work on, ooh, fabulous. I knew acrylic could work on um, on canvas, but I wasn't sure if it would do good on jeans, but here we are, it does. <laughs> so then after I did that, I painted the, I, I got them or whatever. Um, I am all about expanding and like, I, I get bored quickly. So I was like, okay, um, this was fun but now I want to do something else not something else but I want to add more to this like I like because I got like relatively small canvases just to practice and when I did two I was like oh my gosh I'm really good at this <laughs> and I knew I was really good at painting because back when I was in middle school or wait what grade was this um not middle school this was when I went to this private school um, I think I was in like eighth grade or ninth grade. Yeah, no, 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 no. What grade was that? Oh my gosh. I left MoCo in, oh, I got some stories for y'all about that. I left MoCo in uh, middle school. Yeah, yeah, that was definitely middle school. And then I went to that crazy school in, uh, seventh and yeah 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 so that was ninth grade that was ninth grade so I went to this private school in ninth grade and we had a really in-depth first of all first of all first of all that was the first place I ever had Korean food and oh my goodness 
that was when the first time I was introduced period to the Korean culture because it was actually like a Korean um, kind of school. Um, but it was it was a great school and there were, it was it was awesome. I, I did have a lot of fun, but it was just too small for me to um, go there for a long time. But anyway, I first of all, like I said, the food was delicious. OK, <laughs> like bulgogi. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And give me some bibimbap. Sheesh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyway. Oh, and some kimchi. Oh, my goodness. Wow. All right. <laughs> oh, now I'm getting hungry. Anyway. So, I went there and I painted this um, hut. And, like, my the art teacher really took art so, so, so seriously. Oh, my gosh. There's a plane flying over. That's that's a great sign. We'll let the plane go. I'm just not competing with the sound. Okay, so anyway, I was in that class and I painted a hut and she like took art really, really seriously. And she was like so hard on me about getting my picture right. And, um, but it came out so amazingly and then I didn't get it. And I asked my friend, cause it was like the end of the school year. And for some reason I, I wasn't able to get to the art class, um, to pick up my painting. So I asked my friend to get it. Um, but she didn't. So that kind of left a sour taste in my mouth. But anyway, she also is the one who told me that my hair looked like monkey fur because it was brown and soft. Anyway, I hope you noticed that I put the yellow this time not actually in a circle. I put it on the actual flat part, like the little plate. I did that because I like to mix it up when it's not in a little bowl because I feel like I have more control over it. And if I don't, like you see, like it's both of the colors. I can um, I can control how much yellow I put versus red if if I put the lighter color on the plate and the darker color in the little pocket. So fun fact. <laughs> but anyway, so I always knew that I could paint, and I always thought like it would be a really cool idea to paint denim. And um, recently, I um, put out some graphic art, and it pretty much, like, went viral. And so I was like, oh my gosh, like, let me explore this. And then here we are with the painting, um, I think, like, a week and some change later. Um, yeah. I feel like this is so satisfying to watch. I, I'm satisfied. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling good. You hear all the sounds of the night. Like I said, it's like probably now two o'clock in the morning. Or wait, <laughs> I'm tripping, I'm tripping, tripping. It's probably one o'clock. <laughs> it might be two o'clock depending on where where you are but I'm not in that time zone <laughs> all right so in this little corner I didn't I didn't know what the heck I was going to do with that so I was like you know what I have a lot of red left so let's just go to town and do it <laughs> let's just mix it up and I was nervous that it was going to look a little bit like ketchup and mustard um, cause I feel like anytime I see red and yellow together, I automatically just think about ketchup and mustard. But then I was like, ketchup and mustard? Nah. <laughs> but maybe a little bit, kinda. <laughs> Ooh, I'm checking it out to see what needs to be done. 
or if, if I want to change anything. And mind you, I know some people might be like, oh my gosh, this is so loud. Like the, the decorations, the colors, of course it is. It's funky fresh. I was listening to Carlos Santana and then later I switched it over to Kanye. Oh, so now I'm, I'm actually mixing the blue and the purple in the feathery part to make it not look as you know because right now it looks like a costume <laughs> it doesn't look like fashion right now it looks like a costume so these are the parts that are going to add some depth and you see once again i put the lighter color on the top and the darker color in the pocket but anyway um all of the designs we i like to do like um, consultations and things and there's a google form and all that so it can be as conservative or as wild as you want mind you i prefer the wild it's much more fun because i can just go crazy um <laughs> but uh, there you know everyone is different and that's just what i prefer but it doesn't mean that what you like is bad so if you want something a little bit more mild than what you're going to see today, that's totally awesome as well. I'm going to be um, making some more examples of a little bit more milder options as well and putting some ready wear um, milder options up on the site too. Um, BT dubs these pants are ready wear um these are available on the website um as well so yeah <laughs> all the designs that you're gonna see me do on instagram uh, did i put this on instagram i put a little tiktok thing on instagram but all of it is all of the things that you're gonna see me do on here um you can purchase actually so yeah so now I'm just going up the little thing, little half a feather, just to add some depth to it. Don't worry. I'm not going to leave it that bright. Well, I might. I don't remember what I did, honestly, but I think it looks fun. Trust me, when it all comes together, they're going to be like, wow, this is fabulous. Because it is. And like, it's all so emotion based and just so free flowing, like, for real, for real, you could have a one-of-a-kind masterpiece in your closet. And, and that's what it was all about because the canvases, they're fun too, but canvases are stationary. Like, you can't really do much with the canvas. But with a jacket, man, once I realized that I could cut the back off the jacket, structurally, it makes it a little bit more challenging to get it up on, on a hanger. Um, and it, But it still looks great so you see now the difference in the definition we've now left costume and entered fashion okay we've entered okay this is becoming high fashion at this point because mind you this is hand painted okay so let's clean that brush every time I, I think about cleaning a brush I think of the bear in the big blue house with the little song brush brush brie brush brush brew brush brush brie brush brush, brie, brush, brush brie. um my favorite thing about brushing my teeth is chaka 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 <laughs> my favorite thing about brushing my teeth is chaka 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 <laughs> brush brush brie brush brush brew yeah that song anyway I couldn't find my um, the scissors that I used last time, but I actually like sliced my finger the, the first time, so maybe that's a good thing I couldn't find the, the really sharp scissors. Um, but these were a little bit challenging to work with on the fabric, so I was like, let me just try to like rip it too. Um, yeah. And I wanted to get like a rugged design, but I wasn't sure how rugged I wanted it to be. And who knew ripping denim was so freaking hard? You have to be like a ripped bodybuilder to do that stuff. Like, oh my gosh, who knew? All right, Mr. Motorcycle. I always wonder if like motorcyclists do that on purpose or if the bikes just do that. Don't get me to lie. 
so we're just gonna go through and like cut it and mind you i didn't realize how long of a process cutting holes in pants were until i did it myself <laughs> it's not it's not something that doesn't take work okay it's not something you can just start and just be done with you like have to sit there and really cut them holes in there like for real like afar afar oh that's not a motorcycle <laughs> that's somebody's car making that noise oh man i'm tripping tripping okay then it's just kind of like really loud <laughs> what is this like? <laughs> what is he speed racer <laughs> Okay, Mario Kart. <laughs> what in the world? What does he think this is? Freaking Derby? Trying to like jam my freaking finger in there because it's just, at this point, I'm starting to get annoyed. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna like cut. I oh, wait, never mind. I didn't do it yet. At some point, I just started making little snips because I was like, <laughs> maybe I'll get in a flow. And eventually, um, I kind of did get in a flow. So yeah it worked out and it got fun once i figured out it wasn't not fun but with the scissors i had to like come up with a technique and i didn't want to cut too much because then the lines would be too clean and then it wouldn't have the design that i was going for so yeah i figured it out though See, I, is he just trying to cause is he just trying to be loud outside like so it's just driving in circles like, <laughs> see and then it always makes me paranoid because I I'd be like thinking what if I hear a <laughs> at the end of that you feel me and that would be emotionally scarring for me <laughs> That's not funny, but I laugh about everything, so whatever. <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> I said moo. See yeah, I just was like, nah. I'm just gonna do it like this because it was just it was just taking so much time. But not, like, taking so much time in a bad way, but, like, my groove just, Stella did not find her groove yet. So how could she get it back was what I was saying. And I gotta, like, pick up the little furry things. And I'm, like, right now I'm trying to get the fabric out. So all of the um, lines and stuff, I'm trying to get those out. Like there's thread in there and I'm moving the thread around to pull out the pieces of thread so that it can be super frayed and super, super, super distressed. Like as frayed as possible. But like at that point, I didn't know how many frays I wanted to do. So like the designs um, also, they evolve. So originally well i fit pretty much figured i was gonna do um slits all the way down but i thought i wanted to see if i could <laughs> get away with the design with not doing so many split slits because of how challenging the process was but we'll see what i decided to do <laughs> I'm like really getting these thing these out. Y'all book me, okay? <laughs> you see now I found a I found a method. If I put my fingernails um I have dip powder nails by the way. In the shape of I don't know. <laughs> I was just like, Can you make them brown, please? <laughs> She was like, okay. 
so I was like nah I'm gonna have to go in there and put some more slits in because when I saw what it looked like on the other side there was no way I could leave this side looking like you know looking half done that's just not okay I feel like if I'm gonna do something I want to do it all the way if I care about it if I don't care about it though oh well <laughs> but I, I um, want it to be like the way I want it to look Now I just was like, maybe if I start jamming the scissors in here, check and see, analyze, you know, you always got to look and analyze, flip the hair around because you know it was getting in the way. Well, it won't get in the way, but you feel me? So now I'm like, you know what, let's just make little slits all the way down because I kind of, I, I figured out a plan of action at this point. But I also am being careful not to slit too far on this part because I don't want it to get on the paint. So I don't want to cut the design. So I have to be more aware of where I'm cutting up there. And even if, I mean, if it gets on like the little, the um, kind of transparent part, that's one thing. But I didn't want to like go in and rip the whole dang on kneecap. You feel me? That would have just, I mean, it probably would have made the design still awesome, but that's just not what I wanted to do. And even in the jean jacket that I created, and it came out fabulous, <laughs> and I'm going to like, that's going to be my thing. Um, I, I accidentally cut it like that because I had, I had buttoned it up. I put the jacket on and buttoned it up. And I actually measured to see where I wanted. Well, I didn't measure. I decided where I wanted to cut. So I just cut there and I took it off and I buttoned it back. And I was like, okay, be very careful. Make sure you button it the right way. And then I cut it and something in me was like, oh, I did something wrong. Like something happened just now, but I couldn't figure out what it was. So I, then I cut again and then I was like, oh, what, what did I just do? And then I picked it up and I was like, oh my gosh it's wrong <laughs> I, I put it I put it sideways and I was like well you know what we're already here now we've already arrived it's sideways let's just go with it and see what happens so I went as they say well I can't say I went um things to the wall because I have my I have some nail yet one I have my little fanny pack with my chapstick ready and available um, but anyway, I went something to the wall and was like, well, we're already here now. I've already um, done it. I've already cut the bottom off of the jacket. There's no repairing it. So let's just paint it and see what happens. And it came out amazing. <laughs> so here we are. <laughs> And on this, these pants, actually, I was toying with the idea of completely cutting off the other pant leg, but um, I decided to do a design instead on the other leg. Uh, but there certainly will be a design like that um, coming soon. I just wasn't prepared to go that hard yet. <laughs> it wasn't in my, in my plans. So, yeah, now we're just still cutting, still cutting, cutting, cutting. It's so peaceful outside, too. It's, like, kind of humid. It's a humid day. Well, night, I guess. There's a few stars up in the sky. And it, it's really quiet, as you can hear and just so peaceful it's like ah, relaxing you know i'm trying to think if i'm gonna go get some juice 
I feel like you guys are into ASMR if you're watching this. Like, if you're watching this, I feel like you're into that. So let's go. I'm gonna, let's go get me some juice because a friend, I was about to say something else. <laughs> oh my goodness. A girl is thirsty, okay? Shout out to anyone that's ever watched Game of Thrones. Hopefully, no one's gonna scream because I scared them, okay? Nope. Oh, let me turn off the radio. Don't listen to that. Don't listen to that. I don't... I don't have the copyrights. (laughs) We're not listening to any songs. Um, what kind of juice am I gonna get? Okay, we have watermelon, orange, and grape. I'm gonna get orange. Orange with extra pulp. And there's wine here. I'm going to make me a mimosa. Okay, so we're back. And now I'm just going to cut the rest of that side. See how it looks all cut up. And now, this is the other side of the pant leg. I just, like, watch what happens. Watch what happens. I'm just going to go all the way in. Because, like I said, remember, I was thinking about cutting the entire pant leg off. But then I was like, if I cut the entire pant leg off, what if it looks ugly? (laughs) There's no way around cutting the entire pant leg off like if you do that you're fully committing to it and these are high rise jeans so I wasn't sure how that would look and I didn't want it to look ugly because I really liked the way that the other side looked but what I decided was if I cut like squares in then if I don't like the way the squares look I can just cut them off and then at least I know Um, I tried one option first, so um, I ended up deciding to try the cutting out pieces of it first, and then um, I was like, if that doesn't work, I'm just going to cut the leg off, but I just felt like cutting the whole leg off might be too much of a risk (laughs) for what I wanted to accomplish with this look, so I didn't. (laughs) All right now I'm cutting off the um, patch. that it's like such a large patch and the great thing is now I have all this material to oh, I threw it too far I have all this material to dry my brushes with and maybe one day I'll put them all together to create something different Thankfully, I did not cut the pocket. On the jean jacket, I accidentally cut the pocket off. But to get the look, 
the pockets couldn't be there so <laughs> you know nobody wears that kind of jacket and says oh i hope it has pockets in it it's more so for the look you feel me <laughs> this is wearable art like literally wearable art and you see for the cutting i did not um label it or anything i just go i could just go to town because i feel like however i cut it even if it's too big or bigger than i wanted it to be or expected it to be i know that i did it right i did it right for whatever the design is supposed to look like because each piece is it's it has its own personality and vibe so i did it based on that so yeah that's why i don't um write because i feel like if i I'm too concerned about oh it has to look like this has to be perfect then I'm gonna it's not gonna be perfect there are some things that I like though like making sure that when I do cut it that it is in a, a decent kind of line and not you know all over the place but you know it's all about making it still look clean and purposeful but not trying to control the aesthetic either it just really just uh, go with it. See, I'm like trying to get that stuff off of there. You know, I I, I just really want to encourage you guys to do some more self development and things because um now that I have decided to live my best life I've rediscovered my love of art and turns out I'm really good at it <laughs> and I, I can really do something with this as I I'm seeing and I am doing something with it but <coughs> excuse me I feel like really inspired so I just encourage you to to go do something too. I encourage you to learn more about who you are as a person and who you are as a, as a being and what you like to do and who you want to become and then just go with it. And if anyone doesn't understand it, that's okay. But there are people that do understand it. Like, I have the benefit of um, having supportive, a very, very strong support system. Like, um, no matter how crazy my ideas are to other people, <laughs> um, I have the benefit of having a support system who is like, well, you know what? Go big or go home, right? <laughs> go home or go big. Same thing. You feel me? I have the benefit of having a support system who, um, if I feel down or want to give up, is like, uh, well, that's not an option, sis. So <laughs> pick it back up and keep it moving. You know, don't give up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. It doesn't matter what anybody says. Even, even my mom, when I was growing up, she used to say, if I ever grow up, if I ever get old and get crazy and um, start saying stuff to you about how you suck and saying mean things to you, um, don't listen to it because you're amazing and you're an awesome person. And she just would really, really drill that into my head how amazing that she thought that I was. And um, even if she ever said something against it, not to listen. So... Um, and whenever I'm like, you know what, guys, I want to try this. I want to try that. I want to try this. I want to try that. It's like, okay. All right. Go ahead and do it. We support you 110%. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. And and um, having that level of support and love is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Even when I, you know... Um, say things that are close to heart and um, hold people to whatever um, is still very very supportive and I'm very very appreciative for sure alright so we're pulling out 
the thread because we want this side to um, look right too. So let's measure it up, see what's going on. What's we got so going on? What's we got so going on? <coughs> One day I'm gonna be a world-renowned producer. <laughs> I really have some really great beats in my head. All right, so what am I doing right now? We can't see. Oh, I'm cutting it. Uh, yeah, because I was going to cut, I was trying to figure out how much of the back and the bottom I would cut off. I, I kind of wanted it to just look like there was pieces of um, denim floating, but then I didn't want the stitching to come apart. So I was like, for structural purposes, I'm not going to go that wild because um, <clears throat> I didn't know if it would go out and then since i didn't have the right scissors either um i didn't even want to risk it by ripping it so yeah but i did rip it off and so now let's examine it you always got to examine it just like when a chef is cooking hi <laughs> peace love when a chef is cooking they have to taste it when you're designing you have to lift it up and examine I'm just examining to see if I want to cut anywhere else. Because <clears throat> once I get to painting, you know, it's, um, it's a different vibe than cutting. And also, oh, we're done. <laughs> I didn't record the end because um, I thought this video would end up being like way, way long. But you guys stayed. <laughs> And I didn't even realize that it was over. Oh, well, this has been Jan Slay. You can get your custom-made designs. And also you can become an affiliate and sell some as well and earn 5% commission. Love you.